Yo, what's going on guys? You're home alone here with Ted Carr. It's been a while since I've connected with you on the YouTube. I've been busy and I haven't been prioritizing making these videos for you guys. I've been uh, learning After Effects, I've been learning Adobe Premiere, I've been reading some books, I've been listening to some new audiobooks, I've been going for some walks around here in Hilo, Hawaii. I've just been uh, getting into my routine outside of the YouTube. And uh, I've been going to the gym a lot. We going to the gym a lot, putting on some, putting on some weight, putting on some size. I'm now about 157 pounds by the time I go to bed, but my goal is to wake up at 160 pounds. So I probably got another three months of strength training to go before I reach 160 pounds first thing in the morning. Just muscle. Um, I realized it definitely, it's definitely hard work to put on weight eating a raw vegan diet. That's uh, my conclusion anyway. Even though I'm eating like tons of avocados and tons of bananas it's still hard work like you need to you need to overeat you need to eat a surplus like 500 plus calories extra on top of what you'd normally eat as well as go to the gym and lift heavy if you want to put on size if you want to put on weight um, i'm definitely eating an extremely low protein diet most bodybuilders would be eating way more protein than i'm eating i'm just eating basically bananas and avocados so it's either like super high carb or super high fat these meals um, i'm definitely getting in Greens though, definitely getting in some amino acids, which the body then converts into protein. But uh, on a whole, I think I like in the bodybuilder's eyes, they say, dude, you'd need way more sprouts, you need way more uh, lettuce, way more spinach, way more hemp seeds and chia seeds if you want to, you know, get up to our level of protein intake. But uh, I'm just doing an experiment, man. I'll see see how this goes. At least I'll um, keep my protein levels the same for the next uh, month and uh, maybe in a month's time I'll mix it up I'll add in some uh, some more hemp seeds or chia seeds or almonds or something just to see what happens if you add in more protein I, I th that word is so funny I guess I should get over it but I don't like using the word protein because protein is found in animals you don't if you look into a uh, green onion if you look into this, you won't find protein, you'll find amino acids. But as soon as the animal eats it, it converts those amino acids into protein. So that's why I'm so hesitant when I talk about protein. It's like, it's amino acids. It's like, it's like calling this, it's like calling that ice. It is not ice, but it can be converted into ice if you put it in the freezer. So you open the freezer, you're gonna find ice. But first you gotta put water inside of the freezer. So. Anyways, I've, I'm just a weirdo when it comes to words, I guess. Um, but anyways, I think uh, I'm going to make a salad now. And uh, take advantage of being home alone. The only difference between being home alone and when people are here is that when I'm home alone, I have this urge to like make a video and share with you guys, connect with you guys, because I can just like oh, walk around and be loud and not worry about interrupting anyone in case someone's working or something. Or, I can play my music loud and dance around and I can go to the bathroom with the door open. Other than that, my life is the same. I don't all of a sudden like bring out some drugs or I don't all of a sudden like watch some stuff on the internet or the TV that I normally wouldn't watch. My life is very much the same whether I'm home alone or whether I'm with friends. Uh, but uh, check out the fruit stock here, the fruit stash. We've got some bananas ripening up. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, that's it. So mostly living off avocados, bananas, and papayas. It's the same stuff I was living off last time I was here. These are Joey's bananas, and these are my bananas. Joey's also got a whole freezer full of bananas and uh, cherries and stuff, frozen cherries. And my freezer is not full of bananas, but it does have some cherries and blueberries. And then the fridge is my avocados. Alicia was just here. She left her tofu. I guess maybe Joey wants it. Joey, you want some tofu, bro? Um, and Joey's also got some cauliflower and onion in there. Cooks up the cauliflower. It's much better digested if it's cooked than raw. And I just got some more green onion in there. And then the rest is mostly just stuff that people have left here. It's it's Joey stuff like hot sauce or whatever mustard but yeah pretty minimal pretty healthy household here 
on a whole. And then, uh, yeah, that's basic, man. So anyways, I'm gonna go across the street and get some more lettuce. I'll uh, put two heads of lettuce in this, in this bowl. I'll add uh, these three avocados to the salad. Nice big avocados. These are nice big suckers, man. They're really creamy, too. And then uh, add some sprouts. Chop up some ginger. Put some lime in there. Chop up some celery and green onion. And, uh... Oh, I don't have any more dulse. No, no more dulse. Alright, well, no dulse salad tonight. But that's alright. Normally I'll add in some seaweed. Um... Alright, well anyways, I just want to connect with you guys. This isn't like a regular video you can expect from me unless like you really want just me chatting away on, on camera. Post in the comments down below, say, Ted, this person wants to chat. Just post in the comments down below saying, uh, Ted, I want to I wanna connect with you more on YouTube. And I will, <laughs> if I get like 10 comments that say, Ted, I want to connect with you more on YouTube, my heart will be touched, I will honestly be smiling quite big like this, and I'll be like, God dang, I gotta make some more videos then. And I'll post more on my TED Walks channel. I'll go for some walks and I'll just talk. I'll let myself flow, I won't care about what comes out, I won't care about the finished product, I'll just flow. And uh, yeah, expect more of those types of videos on my TED Walks channel. I'll post the link in the description for that channel below. But if you wanna connect, say so, just let me know and I'll start cranking up videos. Um, yeah, only a few hundred, maybe I mean only a hundred or two hundred people will ever watch those videos, so it's more intimate. And uh, yeah, all right. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys, and uh, I love Hilo Hawaii as well. Life is good. Peace, peace.